Okay, so I've been working on some changes to uh, corner probing that should make everything a lot more accurate. Um, you can see here I've got a one, two, three block that's really pissed in the vise. Um, it's about sort of six degrees rotated. Um, got my touch probe set up, whacked in the vise, all that sort of stuff, all good and set up. Um, up here to the control system. Um, I've just got a command here to run a probing cycle uh, that is already set up to go to the corner. Uh, this one, so it's going to do, I think, a top right corner probe, maybe. Um, but it's set up for the dimensions of the block and the, the position. Um, so if I run that, ah, bottom right hand corner. So you can see it's running the probe. I'm only running two probes here, um, just because it makes it a bit faster. And once that's done, it will move over the corner. So you can see it's over the corner there. You'll notice my one, two, three block has broken edges. So I have to move slightly down from the top surface to be able to activate the probe. But if you, we look up here, you can see it's Z 5.1. I'm gonna turn protected moves on. Um, if I go down Z5, you can see that is sitting right on the corner. It's kind of hard to align a camera perfectly with the edges, but you can see it's pretty much it's bang on the corner with the alignment. And if I move down by 0.1, so that's at Z0. And if I move down 0.1 again, Z minus 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, you can see the probe just activated there. Uh, 0.4 and the probe is activated. So that's because that corner is is broken pretty significantly. It's got a um, got a chamfer on both edges of the block. So now I can't move this up, or I may actually be able to move this up. Let's see. No. So it says probe naught is already triggered. Um, so that is the protected moves that's doing that. I'm going to change that so that you can move upwards in Z. Um, without having to disable the protected moves. But for the moment, disable protected moves, move the probe up, and you can see that's there. So that is just the corner, that's at X0, Y0, and you can see the machine coordinates underneath it. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is move it up to five. Uh, I'm gonna enable rotation compensation, M5011. Hit enter. I get a pop-up, workpiece is rotated 6.25 degrees, so I hit yes. So now rotation compensation is active. So now I should be able to navigate using the, the dimensions of the 1, 2, 3 blocks. If I go G0, X minus 50.8, Y 76.2, it should move to the other side of the block and the back left corner. <laughs> can see that there. It's quite high over the block so I'm going to move it down by 5, Z5. Aligned with the corner on this one. It's going to be hard to see from that side but looks pretty aligned to me. Uh, and then I'm going to move down, protective moves enabled again. Where are we? Z0.66. So 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, so that should be on the surface, just above the surface. And then, there we go. The probe is activated at minus uh, 0.12. Um, so yeah, you can see the rotation compensation there is pretty much, sp I mean, it's, it's spot on. Um, I've tested this with a bunch of different stuff. It's spot on. The only thing that uh, doesn't activate the probe instantly is that these edges are broken on a surface that's cut properly this works perfectly. Um, so then if I move back to here I'm gonna have to disable protected moves again 